Okay, looks like we're all good. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom. Randomized, of course. We played some of this yesterday, and it was such a fun time that I immediately wanted to play more of it. So, let's go ahead and have a good time here. We got Bakora at the end of last episode, and he has the other um, Battle Guard, which we needed. However, we need to get their level pretty high up before we can use their dual attack, so... We'll just have to leave them as is. We have to bring in everyone, by the way. We don't have a choice. There's a few monsters to recruit, and this mission is kind of long. Let's see if we can do it. Um... Yep, start battle. It's looking like it's about to rain outside, so it's the perfect day to stay inside and play an RPG. We're gonna get Mako right away, or do we have to win? Okay. Free the Gigan Siep. Okay. So, yeah, they're immediately heading towards that, so we need to send someone out. I say we let Bakora get in there and buy a barricade right away. Business can also, like, make it cost less. Between... Hang on. This is... Sugit. We need to find... I think it's down here the mo wild monsters are. Thormount. Okay, hang on. I need Yugi to go south until he bumps into a group of two monsters, because Yugi's our strongest, and we need to recruit the random monsters. This has been a really fun randomizer, by the way. I'm really liking this. Um, I can honestly see myself playing, like, multiple playthroughs of this, to be honest. This is, like, exactly what I've always wanted out of this game. One of them's going pretty fast. Okay. Get in there, get in there. Okay. Just in time. No. The random monsters for, like, the middle team member, by the way, that'll mean, like, random overworld speed, so that could be a problem. Time Wizard is looking a little funky there. I almost never see him. Hang on, let's check what they got. Oh, no, medicine. Red medicine? Oh, you little jerk. He's gotta die first. He's gotta go. This might be a little bit rough. Okay, he's guarding. That's a problem. It's raining for you. I know, isn't it, like, really nice when it's raining outside and you get to stay in playing games? Man, I need that a lot more. We're gonna have to break his guard and take out Time Wizard. No problem, no problem. I've been excited. I feel weird without the PNG tuber lately. Playing Tag Force, um, without it, <laughs> it's been feeling strange. I've been using it so much, chat. My little anime character is fun, isn't it? Hang on. Maybe I should put on the gamer controller again. This feels like the kind of game where it just feels like appropriate to have a, have the little controller used. And pierce their guard, yeah. Like break their guard, kind of. Okay, powered beam. Is this can do this? A little bit of damage on you. Okay, let's keep hitting him to make him loop through his medicine to stall him. Yeah, Mako joins this one automatically later, doesn't he? Excellent. Last time, like... Yeah, last time we actually had to use strategy in this strategy game because... You actually really gotta make use of what you get here. Whereas, like, there's a pretty easy way to, like, kind of play optimally when you, when you figure out the game's crust, of course. When you're playing it normal, yeah. In the future, if we if this does really well and I have a lot of fun doing all three campaigns, I wouldn't mind trying a rando of just putting like complete like randomizing everything completely. So we could end up with super powerful stuff at the beginning. It could be chaotic and take longer or take be shorter. Okay. Yeah, Larva Moth is boosted. I gave it Beast Fangs. There's no insect type, I believe, only beast. Hang on. Okay, let's swap you guys, and let's get Tristan down over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Two monsters. It's... Wait, what? It's just Burfamet. Huh? There's only one of them. Oh, no. Is... Wait. Is the second encounter also along the way? I'll have to keep looking. He's kind of useless at this point, but we, have... we could give him Black Pendant, right? Hang on. Hold up. 
Yeah, he counts as a fiend, so we could put the pendant on him. He'd be better than Horn Imp. I have to say, yeah. The rando's making this very entertaining to watch. Yeah, I know, right? Shouts again to Zera for uh, getting this working. I haven't had any crashes, but I know it's a possibility. Okay. The OG, it was Octo Burser Solo. Yeah, but isn't there also a mermaid you can recruit here? Can't remember. Some of you know clearly know this game better than me. Okay. Come on, Yugi, you got it. Okay, go for it. Okay, the list I'm looking at is a little bit wrong then, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. You guys are here to correct me if I get things wrong anyway. The right of the town and the east near the water. Okay. Uh, to the right of the town on the east. Did I get that in my original playthrough then? I don't know. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have fun. Damn it, didn't mark the time. Okora can finish this off, though. Okay, he's going powered beam. We gotta level up the swamp battle guard. Okay, we're gonna hit you. Rocket warrior counts as a machine. Do it. This guy came with a free legendary sword equip, so that's good. Is the Horn Imp wearing pants? Did it always have pants? Or is that a four kids that change? I don't remember. Well, who cares? Smash it. Oh, he's got like a little armored skirt. Okay, first team's about to go down. Or east of Van Loba. Yeah, I'm assuming that that's the one I'm sending Shimon over to. I should get Yugi into position. It's very important to have Yugi fight the monsters. Because they're randomized, they could be something tough. So I need my heaviest hitters to always go for them. To make sure we win. Okay, one level up for the Horn Imp. The Horn Imp is getting ditched, though, so I don't care too much about it. Okay, I need to get Tristan to head over here as well. I also need to get Yugi to get over here as well. Will you be enough to take these on your own if I... No, he's not going to be strong enough to fight the wild monster. I shouldn't risk it. I should just get him... We need to take out the wave of enemies, to be honest. What do we got? No, uh, three red medicine on you. I think we can take him out. Panther Warrior's a little scary, though. He doesn't have that weird effect holding him back this time. Ow. Hmm. Are some random monsters actually level 99 on our first play? I don't know about that. Alright, she's wasting medicine. At least there's only three of those. There's a glitch. Uh, I didn't... I'm not aware. Hang on, let's do it. Early on in Yugi's. Oh, yeah, Summon Skull and, like, Gaia the Fierce Knight show up at level 99, I think. It's a glitch. If the roaming monster is level 99, it makes the duplicates the same level. Oh. Okay. Okay, we took out the medicine holder. Now then. Horn Imp's taking a bit of a beating here. It might be a good idea to pay for a healer here as well. Okay, good damage on you. Swift Panther Slash. Lane dash. Yeah, you get to keep your XP if you lose the mission. That that 
That's a way to prevent you from getting soft locks. So you can just replay the mission over and over until you win. Hang on, is my... I feel like the the software isn't picking up my my mouth movement as much as it's shown again. All right, hang on. Let me just hit him with the boost sword and let me pull this thing up. Let, let me just check my levels. Okay. A little bit. A little bit lower there. Okay, how about that? I think it looks good. Ignore the floating things above my head. Don't worry. I will get the hang of this stuff, chat. <laughs> You know what I could use? I could use like a little background. No, it wouldn't fit here. <laughs> it wouldn't fit, but it'd be very cozy. Okay. Damn it, he's gonna have to fight. Cozy back uh, background of, a, of like a bedroom while rain beats on the window, but there's no space for that. All right, here comes Hot Tunes. This is bad. You're gonna take too much damage here. Oh, please don't. Dude, I don't even have time to get Horn Imp out of here. Lame. Can I attack? Fantastic. Well, I have a monster reborn I could use on him. Um, I could just go for the escape. If I get it, it would knock them back. We're in a big disadvantage, so I guess I'll try. Wow, it worked. Wow, it actually worked. I'm sh I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I didn't think it would work. No, 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 there's no room for him to leave. Oh, are you serious? Oh my, mm, ah. How large is of a circle does Lop the Swamp Battle Guard need? Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, now my monster's dead, cool game. I really wish, you know what there needs to be? There needs to be a feature so that when your village is getting invaded, you get to choose who in the village actually fights. Because it defaults to the last person in the line, so you have to awkwardly make them leave over and over to um, actually, like, do it. It can also just be delayed in general. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to just, um... I think we're just gonna have to take the L on this battle, I'm afraid. Let's do it. Come on. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. I shouldn't be slouching so much. Get him. No, 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 I'm not gonna reset. That would just waste my time and experience getting other stuff done. Hydration station. Let me go ahead and do that, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, they're out of points. I should probably just monster reborn the battle guard. Unshrimp. Don't mind if I do. Pretend my pretend my character isn't slouching. Just pretend. <laughs> pretend I'm stretching. You can't afford that animation right now. Not yet, anyway. I gotta remember to push the pissy button when I'm pissy. <laughs> get in there, Yugi. Get in there. Okay, now Yugi can just fight these. He's gonna take the XP, but... One person fighting all those isn't gonna work out if they're too weak. Okay, this guy's back. Let's do it. You can't... Um, hang on. Can you wait for, um... If one of your characters die, uh, one of your characters dies, can you wait for them to respawn? I don't remember if that was a thing, or if you never- I never waited long enough to find out. They do, really? The individual monsters will never revive after enough time. The whole team had gotta be dead. I have both battle guards, but I can't use the dual attack, so I don't have them both on the same team. I gotta check the shops as well, but we don't have, um... We need to deal with the waves of enemies first, yeah. Hey, Tristan will take over after this. 
when I recruited Bakora at the end of last episode, um, he had the Swamp Battle Guard. So yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead and bite him. I kind of want to buy a healer. Because we, we got the gold. I've been doing okay with that. There's a lot of shops I skip because they don't have good stuff. Is it just me, but I feel like the attack magic is not very good unless you have a very specific build in mind and have access to it. Um, they have to be a certain uh, 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 a high enough level to be able to use their special skills. Let's hit this. Get a fight. A little whack right there. It's all ogre now. I love that windmill in the background. It's so cozy looking. Oh yeah, Taya, Taya does have like an ability for uh, tailored for healing, doesn't she? Don't gun her yet though. Kaizo mod reduces the levels mo the monsters get their abilities at. Yeah, the Kaizo mod is, is t meant to be tougher, but it's also far more balanced because if you play this game, even like the vanilla game, I mean, even knowing what you're doing, um, there are so many monster skills that you will simply never see. You will never see them in your entire playthrough because like it's just unrealistic to like even level up to that point. I don't know what they were thinking with a lot of that. It feels like a lot of monsters were designed and placed far afterward without much thought. Okay. At Lorna D. Okay, Tristan can take this guy out, I hope. I don't suppose the Kaizo mod manages to let you choose who does the battle. Or give you an option to rotate them. If there is an option, I'm just not seeing it. I'd love to know. Okay, what? You got a monster reborn? You little piece of scum. Wow, you're disgusting. We gotta take out the, the, the guard there, for sure. Okay, let's do it. Okay, he's guarding. Let's do this. It's fun to be able to see so many more different uh, monster models, though, for sure. He's going to use his Monster Reborn. We're just going to have to deal with it. But this mo monster dies very easily, so whatever. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is, chat. <laughs> All right, there's what we're going to do now. We're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna boop this guy here, because he's a little bully, and I don't like him. This game is very, very slow, like, you, I feel like you you need to go into this game with a bit of patience. If you expect to just, like, run through it, it, like, no. It's not a very fast strategy game at all. This is Yugi right now. But Kaiba will have it, like, Kaiba will have his own string of random monsters as well. And, like, I'm pretty sure the monsters I get in Yugi's campaign won't show up in Kaiba's because I'll already have them recruited, right? So, we're gonna see new things throughout all three campaigns, I feel. Let's do this now. Dark Rabbit is a Bugs Bunny bootleg. Maybe. Get this elf going. do this. Getting booped. That's a critical, unfortunately. The elf can probably finish off the rabbit, but yeah, I'll use an attack in the middle one. Yeah, you unlock Joey's campaign when you beat Yugi and Kaiba. It's very short, though. If I can get this elf to level 15, it'll apparently be very worth it. 
I don't think the randomizer is compatible with the Kaizo mod. Uh, I know there's some mods compatible with the randomizer. I don't know if there's plans for that. Okay, level 13 on her. Tristan got nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, okay, Tristan's gonna have to fight this guy now. Oh, she's the only one left. This is perfect. I haven't even gotten the first VOD of this uploaded yet because I've just wanted to play it. I wanted to play more of it right away. I have a few things I need to get edited and uploaded this week. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Good damage. Crawling Dragon, just gonna crawl over here and beat the crap out of ya. It missed. Clearly, he's the winner. Yeah, Laser Blast. Crystal Shards. Just gonna yeet a copy of Kirby Crystal Shards at us. That's what she's gonna do. Ooh, a crit. Nice. I'll take that. And... Eh, only Tristan really got XP for that. Felt like. This song kind of reminds me of a song in Symphony of the Night. Can I even check the trader here yet? Super Rejuvenation, Blue Medicine, Laser Cannon Armor. Eh. Eh. This team's almost dead, lucky for us. So we can let you get some XP, finally. Laser Cannon Armor literally only works for Basic Insect and only Basic Insect. So... And not to mention, Basic Insect is weak as hell. Like, I don't... I think even in the main playthrough with Kaiba, it's not even worth using it, right? Like, you can make him good for a little bit, but he's the monster gets really outclassed later, especially if you get the ultimate moth, and it, and it can cast poison on everything. Basic Insect's just worse version of Karibo, is he? Because he gets access to a special with spread damage, right? Which could be good in theory, but... Anyways, we did this. Not bad. We still need to get to that other, um, recruitable monster, but we need to stop the wave of enemies coming at us first. Okay, good. Swap them out right there. Rainbow's item gives it a plus a thousand boost from Multiply. Hell yes. That's why it's the Speedrun King. Okay. I'm gonna play it safe and use Medicine on Crawling Dragon. Do you get points for heals? Doesn't look like it, no. God, that's such a heavy swing. Let's see how much you did. Okay, you're guarding. Yeah, you gotta overlevel some monsters to take full advantage of that. This is really a cool randomizer, though, for sure. Oh, wait. This one's got Shock Shell. Damn. Dragon Treasure. What am I doing? These are me. These are my monsters. What the hell am I saying? I thought I was looking at the opponents. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, Blue Medicine, Red Medicine. There was a guy who also had Gamma, so I was just... Gamma and Crawling Dragon, so it was ingrained in my brain. Oops, a mirror. Yeah. Okay, red medicine, blue medicine. We gotta deal with that. Chat, you didn't see me make a fumble, right? You you wouldn't you wouldn't make fun of a anime streamer, would you? You'd never do that. No, nobody would ever want to do something like that. I'm too wholesome to make fun of. It's the it's me being sleep deprived today. That's all. Uh oh, I missed. And you're not gonna be able to kill. Fantastic!
Give us the bear? No. I will not be bribed into showing the Teddy Ursa. Small heal. Okay, it's not using red medicine. That's good. I don't know why, but I, f I feel like the red medicine would taste pretty bad compared to the blue one. Hit it. Oh, right. It's confused. They can't use medicine when they do that. Silly me. I forgot about that mechanic. Come on. If I'm really a PNG, how is my mouth moving? Well, it's simple. It just moves, because animation. Now, if we confuse you, you won't be able to use your medicine, right? Right? Oh, I, I credit him. Nice. Oh, he's giving up. Clearly, I am a gift tuber. Because I'm a gift to all of you. Okay, a little bit of damage there. Guardian Blade. The game does- this game doesn't really alert you when you learn special skills. Oh my- Dude, that- he just critted my elf. I need to heal her. Okay. Chat, they're bullying my elf. How could they? Let's do it. One more level for the elf. Okay, you go there. The other stuff, yeah, it was just blue medicine. I feel like I should buy an extra blue medicine for the road, because I have Bakura now. He needs to have a stack. And we gotta finish this guy off. Oh, he's going for the elf again. Please don't, please don't. Yes. I'm gonna have to heal her again. I want that level. No, she gets a special skill at level 15, apparently, that makes her really good. Zippy zap. Ooh, so sorry. Kill, 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 kill. Alright, perfect. And what I get? Tristan leveled up again. Tristan taking all the XP. Ah, oh, Dancing Elf didn't get enough. Oh, you got that- Oh, Dylan, you got that cake Mom made? Yeah, I got to try some of that last night. She made a brownie cake. It's delicious. Okay. Let you heal. Maybe let Fizdis take over for a second here. I'm gonna send you over here. And maybe I should make a healer. Mmm, this place is defiant, so it'd be pretty expensive. Let's do it. Now, the passive healing will also be faster, and we can pay for more of it, but I'm gonna do this. So now that you're over here, Snake Bank... This is also a pretty bad one, yeah. So we're gonna send you down all the way to this one, so you can take it over and check the stuff. No one's on there, good. And we're gonna send, uh, yeah, Fizdis should probably go up over here, but Fizdis also needs XP, so... I'll just let you get there first, why not? Hey, huh? Is that Fortress? <laughs> it is! Chat, look at how fast it's going! I didn't even notice this thing! Bro, I didn't even know Fortress Whale was in this game. <laughs> well then. This is gonna be a disaster. I wonder it took so long. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, check their items properly. They all have a lot of AHP. All around the same stuff, huh? Who's the strongest? Definitely the whale. We should take him out. It looks so absurd on the map like that, yeah. D d oh, nice crit. Damn. He hit me with a Kamehameha. 
Let's go for it. Let's go for it. A lot of the water creatures are pretty bad in this game. I remember that, yeah. Ugh. I've never seen a monster like Fortress Whale move on the overworld map. I don't even know where you normally get this thing. Okay, Moth is gonna go down at this rate. Let's heal it. Heal a little bit. Let's do it. Okay, we can Okay, we can take the whale out. That's this is really good. Well, the fortress whale is coming towards us like the snail that hunts you down until you die. Excellent. Cool stuff you get to see only in randos, yeah. Oh, they're gonna kill the. Oh, they're gonna kill Moth. Sucks, but we can't evolve that thing anyway, so. It's not like I care about it for the long run. Okay. This thing's actually pretty weak compared to you, so let's focus on getting rid of him. Does the swordsman have, like, a high crit rate or something? As I'm saying that, he gets another crit. Is that what makes him good? Like a random critical hit stat that I just don't see about him? Okay. Now he's gonna... Wait, what? Oh, he's coming right back. Okay, hang on. You get in there. And fizz this. Get your butt over here. Yugi can finish this guy off. Yugi still got all the big, big brain teddy stats. We need Yugi's team fully topped up so we can fight the wild monster, and hopefully it's good. We're probably gonna have to fight a respawn wave of these enemies because holy crap, they're taking forever. But it's okay. We can get the extra gold by checking the nearby places. Perplex Hex. Okay, you're good. You're good. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, equip items in most of the shops. There were some early on, but I didn't have enough uh, gold to buy many of them. And it turns out I didn't have, like, the right types for that one anyway. That's why all my beast fangs are on Larva Moth, which is pathetic. Not bad. Let's do it. Fortress Whale is on Mission 15 and on Suijin's team. Okay. Almost. Let's get some XP for Yugi now. Tristan was getting all the heavy gains for a little bit. Nice. Nice. I'll take that. Want Lava Battle Guard to see XP, though. Okay, they're all taken out. How much does it cost to revive someone to full? And that's pretty hefty for how it's looking there. First. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, silver bow and arrow. Okay, Fizzness needs to buy a bunch of the... Oh, no. That's 4,000. I can't buy that. I can't buy that. <laughs> Used by spirit and warrior monsters. It boosts attacks and prevents enemies from dodging. This is one of the best equips ever. Jesus. Do it. Okay. Oopsie. We need to get... Okay, Thor Mount has taken over. That's good. We're gonna take that back if we're not careful. How many of those do you think I should buy? How, like, genuine question. Do you think I should just go all in with them? Because they could be the... They could make or break stuff later. Save 200 a pop because of business. Thank you, girl. Fuck 
five at least, you think? One more. Okay. I'm not gonna Konami code cheese this. I'm not gonna use it. That should be enough for now. Guarantee at least two, mo like, warrior monsters will be fantastic with it now. So let's find out if it's worth going down here. Okay, we don't need to worry about these. Deflex enemy attacks around one monster. You gotta physically use these, though, and they're not that great. Let's get you into position. And we need to get Yugi ready to fight the next um, wild monster. Okay, he's topped up. So Yugi needs to go here. Fizdis is pretty much fine here. But Bakora needs his monster revived, doesn't he? Ah, oh, dude, really? It costs that much to do that. It's kind of not worth it, because I'm not even going to use Horn Imp after this battle anyway. Yeah, I know, the night tracks are great. Okay, they're going for us now. It's going slow as hell. Hang on. Who's coming? Okay, the first revive team is coming. It's not too bad to have to fight them. Okay, this is the guy. Hmm. Ah, oh, there they come. We need groups down there to fend them off. They're gonna go for that one first. Use Bakora as a little bit of a distraction, I guess. Okay, Yugi's here. The monster should be over this way. Oh, boy. This game is very, very crusty, and a lot of mechanics are simply not explained inside of it. I could just use the Konami code and edit it out. Who'd count the money? Who'd count the money, chat? Who'd do such a thing? Now, do all blue medicines and red medicines uh, get replenished? I don't remember. Let's find out. Oh, don't worry. I'll remember Reshef's uh, wacky weakness cycle soon enough. Oh, fantastic. Here we go. There's the red medicine, everybody. Oh, yep. It looks like they stayed from before, yeah. They can't use them infinitely forever. Let's hit that. Finish him off. Finish him off. I have to say that Sh uh, Shiman's team is very outdated at this point in the playthrough. Okay, now we gotta take out Medicine Boy before he keeps overhealing. Chat will keep quiet about the Konami code if I bring the bear. Chat, you don't deserve the teddy. You all have such nefarious ideas in mind. Bribery? Really? Do you think I do such a thing? You think I do such an unwholesome thing? Kill! Let's keep going. Spray him with some of that blueberry mist. At least it's easy to kill the respawning teams like this. No teddies, chat. No teddies for you right now. You're not being good enough. Oh, no. He's gonna use medicine. I couldn't finish him off. That's a shame. Chat is demanding a teddy. All right, fine, chat. You can, you, you can have a teddy for a little bit. Teddy can watch the stream. See? Ooh. Okay, that's the level up I was really looking forward. Looking for there. Very nice bear. Okay, here it is. What is it gonna be? Hitotsumi Giant? I don't want that garbage. That's worthless. That's a nice camera angle, though. You gotta admit, look at that. Look at that, chat. He came to the beach because he lost his friends. He wonders what all the fighting is for. Then Yugi wanders near and kills him because he's gonna die. Get him.
He used to be the best card in the game at one point. But now he's all washed up on the beach waiting to die. He's freaking terrible, isn't he? He's literally a starter monster for, for Kaiba, I think. Okay, nice. Lava Battle Guard gets a level. So is Urabi. Urabai. What the hell does Urabai even mean? It sounds like it's just a, like a made-up word. Doesn't sound like a name. Okay. Oh, the whole crew is coming down there. Well then. I guess we better get started. Can only full heal a dead monster. It says so in, uh... In the manual. Okay. Okay. We gotta take out... Bald man before he heals. And boy, do they like to heal. You think Teddy's very confused by all the monsters? I think Teddy's confused. But he has that little curious look. He's happy to be here. Finish it off. Now. Good. times we need to teach you this lesson, old man. Does Teddy have advice on war strategy? Bring more cookies so you don't get uh, hungry on the battlefield. Come on. Blueberry mist. Let's go. Oh, I missed. Well, I got my mist all right, huh? Water Tornado, Bubble Beam. He's out of action points, and we got him. Oh, come on, I missed again. Really, he deserves several hundred points for that. Teddy must remain entertained, that's right. Okay, that's good. These three monsters aren't that great right now. They're going to get outclassed very shortly. I mean, I shouldn't say stuff like that when the game is giving me Hitotsumi Giant, you know what I mean? We need to get, um... Hang on. Get Yugi back into here. I need to get everyone over here again and heal up. Ah, yes, the Night Track. Oh, listen to that. L listen to it. Chat. Listen to how freaking cozy the ocean music is right now. Seriously, if you haven't already, like, just listen to this game's soundtrack extended for a while. Yeah, Horseman does get a chance for paralysis on his at main attack. Tristan can take out these guys. It's about to power up the elf anyway. It's a lot of friends on the way. Wait for Yugi to heal up, and then we'll send Yugi towards the, um, the boss. Okay. You've got the red medicine. Let's get you before it's too late. Hang on. Okay, no special yet. She's still one level away from it. This game has such fantastic music, right? Yeah, I, I, I need to look up who the hell the composer is. I didn't do that yet. She's gonna heal herself, you little jerk. There we go. There we go, chat. Don't mind me being a little pissy about it. Get burned. I mean, there's a bad camera angle for it. It's super shocked. 
Okay, she can't heal no more, but we gotta take her out anyway. Ba da 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 Okay, we can do this. If you go into this game, like, blind as a kid, you are going to be absolutely lost and confused, I feel. It took me, like, lots of trial and error to figure out how this goes. It's a silly game, isn't it? But it's fun. Oh, I missed. Lame. I, okay, he guarded too. You're not making this easy. Damage it, please. Ah, uh, will this be enough? Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay, good. Give it a little shock. Oh, nice, a crit. Um, I feel like I should use a medicine to end this battle on. I'm going to win it anyway. He's gonna get knocked back here. Level 15? Oh my. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. Darn shame. Comes the next chump. Oh boy, here we go. And any of these guys got heals. Comes Hot Tunes. That parrot dragon is fast. Okay, Red Medicine is on the L. So we're just gonna attack her immediately and hopefully get her before she fully heals someone. And she's too fast. You waste my time, Miss Elf. You waste my time. I'm not gonna kill her in time. May as well try and take out one of the uh, weaker, weakened monsters while I have a chance. Okay, good. Everything is fine. Now, see if I can hit her with confusion on this shot. Because I don't want her to heal. Okay, good. She can't she can't heal anymore. Okay. Tristan's gonna need to be topped up here. Tristan has to literally hold this fort down for a little bit. Probably let Shimon do the next battle, though. If I could swap fast enough. Small amount of damage, nice. Now, while she's confused, let's use our remaining attacks and take out Parrot Dragon. Even if she respawns after this, they don't get to replenish all their, um... All their medicine anymore. That's one saving grace. One. Oh no, we couldn't kill it in time. And it wore off. Oh, come on. Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this? All right, let's get started. She's not a threat anymore. She's out of healing items. May as well take out the tough one. Internet says the composer for this game is Waichiro Ozaki, who did Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Really? That's interesting. I gotta get to play that game sometime. Level 15? Okay, finally, she hit level 15. Does that mean I could use the skill? I hope so. Oh. 
time to pull this up. Gonna have to fight. They got the birth of it. Okay. I got the special now. It should cost two points, but I have lots of action points. Let me just see how it looks. Screen missed. So does it only hit one? Or is it just blind? It, it blinds the entire team. Okay, that's so useful. That is that was definitely worth getting. Hits all of them. Perfect. And there's just no indication that she'll get that at level 15. You just kind of have to know. Yeah, it didn't ask a target, so that's, I, I should assume as much, yeah. All right. Good job, Tristan. Another one for her. Take it. She's got the action points, so turn one, she just blinds them, and the other ones can clean up. This is good. Damn it. Okay. He's gonna have to finish this one up now. Dude, they're just relentless with these enemies in this mission. Okay. It costs two action points per special, but... Oh, yes. Perfect. How does blind work in this game, if anyone knows? Like, does anyone know, like, the percentage it cuts accuracy by? So far, it's looking pretty good. I guess go for your bike ride. No problem, friend. Catch you later. Oh, I missed, too. <laughs> How ironic. No clue on exact details. Seems useful. Okay, he guarded. That's why I'm not doing any damage to him now. But I broke his guard, so this should be fine. I missed! Are we sure I'm not the one that got blinded, chat? It felt like a near-guaranteed miss when I used it. Yeah, hit him. Take. Him. Out. This is gonna be a really useful monster to use in the long run now. Oh, nice, I got a crit. Zero. Yeah. The fact that I am missing so many attacks during this particular... During this particular thing, yeah. She did become Dark Elf, yes. That's literally the color scheme of, um... The Dark Elf card. I didn't realize they just did negative values, yeah. Debuff stack in this game, I know, it's wild. Tristan getting all that juicy XP today. Now then, you get in here, you finish off the rest of them. Is Yugi... Okay, yeah, barely any time's passed, that's why. Once we're done with this guy, we can finally launch our siege on the actual boss. Three enemies, chat. Now then. No Monster Reborns are left, so we need to take out the, um... What's it called again? Mountain Warrior? Yeah, Mountain Warrior. Take him out before he read medicines. The damage there. Mystic is Mystic Horseman worth worth keeping in the long run because of his paralysis gain? I don't fully remember how good that can be on the early starting monsters. Let's see, but if I load him up with buff items, hang on, what what type is he? He's a warrior, so he need he could use the arrows as well. Finish them off.
Rip that bunny apart. There's nothing funny about this bunny. Kill it. No more attacks. Let me get some water while this happens. Pretend I'm animated to drink water. Yeah, you, you would shift him around for sure. I'm just wondering if he'd be worth it to kind of have on a team. I mean, it's a randomizer. I can't be picky. I can't just expect to bump into, like, red eyes or, a f or a, like, a static fusion monster. That'd be busted. Don't worry, I'll fix my seat. I'll six fix my posture here. Be a good teddy. I'm... Oh, I thought I missed. One more. Damn it. Paralysis is just a straight up. It forces them to skip their turn, and they have no choice but to wait until it maybe wears off. Okay, he took this out. Does Mystic Horseman get his paralysis at like level 15 or something? I believe it'll show like a yellow icon on his attack name if um that happens. Okay. Yeah, that should change to yellow when it's when it's happened for that. No, close the damn menu. Oh my god, great. Ah, now we're gonna lose a monster. Oh well. Robot Knight is dead. And they have got the medicine. Well. Finish off you before we can. It, whatever. Robotic Knight's not that great. It's Horseman I'm more, more worried about. No, I mean, like, Mystic Horseman gets the ability to paralyze later. I'm not saying that Paralysis Scythe can paralyze right now. Because, like, I remember some en en other enemies, like the, the Gorgon Lady, also eventually get Paralysis added to their attack when they uh, level up enough. Robo Knight actually gets an AoE special. Oh. You almost never see that happen, though. The Gorgon Lady, I mean. Shemin's kind of out of, out of that commission now. Do this. Doesn't? Then why were people saying he, he get, that he gets paralysis later? There we go. Well, I got, all right then, fine, he's useless. We'll just say that. No need to heal with these, we'll do this. Okay. Wow, we lost that, clearly. Okay, no problem. Let's just get Tristan back in the front lines. Oh, they're already respawning? Hang on, is that the whale? Wait, what? Wait, where? Dude, I didn't realize he already came back. All right, let's use the special. Make sure it can't hit me. Tristan would be a good thing to send in to soften up the boss. I'm gonna need to change the team around after this one for sure, especially because we're gonna get three new monsters from Mako. How much time has to pass for Mako to show up automatically? Otherwise, he show up at the very end of the mission as an automatic recruit. I think the idea is that they want you to get overwhelmed by all the monsters, and then he shows up, but they get to respawn so much that they made it take too long. Yeah, I know, it takes for... They respawn so quickly in this damn game. Okay, so it's a mis uh, misinformation thing. Mystic Horseman's Paralysis Scythe can't paralyze. That's the joke, okay. Okay, now if we go over here... Okay, that's the Fortress Whale. That one's gonna take forever to get to us, so we're okay. 
Hang on. Yugi needs to get his ass over here, though. The time limit has barely moved. We'll do this. And... Hang on. We'll go take care of you. They don't have medicine, so we should be able to just blind it and easily be done with him. This guy just takes so long to move that, like, yeah. What does he have on his team? He has... okay. No items and low action points on him. He's actually a pretty... Not a pretty great boss, to be honest. I should be able to take him out. Fight you guys now. I'll beat this guy up for the extra XP, though. Okay. Monsters like uh, Dancing Elf get extra action points, specifically so you can spam their stupid specials like this. Isn't it wild how so many of the useless monsters just end up having stuff like this? And you'd never know about it, because the game doesn't even really communicate when they learn stuff like that. You just kind of have to, like, know. Oh. Ah, uh, almost. Whale is guarding. The elf can finish off Kamehameha, boy. Perplex Hex. Okay. Oh, nice. Critical, but barely any damage. Okay. Eventually, I will have to give, um... Now, I will have to give some equip items to the Dancing Elf so that she can actually do damage as well as spread the AoE. Or Her thing is that she casts Blind on everyone at the cost of two action points, so that's pretty damn good. Like, really good. I believe there's more recruitable monsters next mission as well. Mako Tsunami's normal monsters is, like, three pretty weak water monsters, right? So, um... Eh, they, they could be anything. They are kind of mid-strength for this point, so... There's a lot of options. Dude, I couldn't finish him. Are you serious? Oh, I'm attacking the whale, then. Now that we have access to this, it'll be very useful, yeah. Ooh, he missed. Gamma could be good if I could get my... I mean, hang on a second, never mind. I can't make Valkyrion. I just remembered. The fusions are like, sta become standalone in the randomizer option I checked, so I can't fuse into anything or even get Poly anymore. So I could find Valkyrion as a random ass monster somewhere. Oh, uh, really? He's alive? Well, we're in the field, so we're about to swap positions and fight anyway. Damn, no act Really? Really? No level-ups on that. The OST is so good for this game, I know. It's been an hour and we're still on this one mission. Finish him off. Oh yeah, Mako's Kraken monster can get blind because of, um... Yeah, it sprays like the ink and all that. Gee whiz, chat, do you think I can win? You think I can win? I hope so. We did it! Alright. No level up for Gamma, but we take those. Does the Bouncing Time Wizard ever hit the corner? No idea. Okay, Yugi. 
Let's let you get in there before another team freaking spawns in. You fought well so far for a bunch of squirts, but the sea is where I fight best. As head of the Imperial Navy, I'll see the fish pick, pick at your bones. We're not in the ocean, though. We're in a castle. Yeah, you want... Uh, over time, monsters' orbs will slowly change to match the marshal's orb. So, I probably should make sure that Lava Gold, Lava and Swamp Battle Guard, like, kind of have matching orbs, because they'll get, like, an action point bonus for it. Like, look, these are, um, like this. The orbs are just a little funky and weird. Anyways, they don't have any items whatsoever, so I can just kind of go to town and take them out. Let's start with the weakest one. Okay. Not one of his monsters are Aqua, yeah. Randomizer, baby. Someone uploaded a little computer virus to this video game. That's my lore. That could be my VTuber lore, chat. I, I randomized the video game because I glitched it when I'm inside. Wait, no, that makes it sound like I made the randomizer. Who would do such a thing? Take credit for other people's work. I would never. Or maybe Kaiba's just cheating. Bite. Now then. Hmm. Who has the higher attack power between these two? I guess you. You got more defense, though. Let's do it. All this stuff is just in the manual. Yeah, no one read the GameCube manuals. This game has a very basic tutorial for the first mission, and that's kind of it. <laughs> a lot of the stuff you just have to, like, look up. Or check the manual. I don't think our copy even had a manual. Yeah, Dylan. I don't think it did. Barely any damage on you. That's okay. Give her a club. is fine. Let Yuki have a little level up here. Only a tiny bit, damn. I kind of want to let Fizdis get in there, yeah. You're crawling your way in. Rocket Warrior seems like it might be kind of meh. Please don't respawn enemies. Please don't respawn an enemy. It'll appear in the castle as soon as it's able to. Come on, Fizdis. You can do it. Okay. Be okay. Be okay. Rocket Warrior's just kind of meh, but usable. Yeah. Does the Swordsman get a special as well at high level? So far, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I feel like he's getting critical hits pretty often. Oh, speak of the devil, the other monster just got that. Take her out. He gets a massive damage special. Which is so funny, because he's one of the, um... He's one of the weakest cards ever made, with one of the worst effects ever made. If it does battle with a monster, that monster dies five turns from now, and it's like... Even in the old, crusty Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, okay, he's dead. Old, crustiest versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> That's too slow, and he has 250 attack. What a, what a dude. Super glass cannon, yeah. I can give him the bows, though. Ah, uh, he barely got anything. Dude, that thing just keeps going and going because it got the kill. At least Fizz just got a level for that. 
Um. Let Yugi just get the kill then, since that Fizdis' monster is dead. I love when monsters are just like some guy, and they're just like, you're a monster. And like, but, and we're human, and it's like, okay. S sounds weird to me. It always sounded weird to refer to all the elemental heroes as, uh, monsters, too. Let's see. I don't know, is that weird to me, chat? I feel like it's a little rude. Okay. Now this guy's dead. Oh, Yugi got another martial bonus. Oh, that was perfect to let him get the kill. Eight hundred gold. Let's go. It took an hour, over an hour, to do this. Look at that. Look at that crusty portrait. This is actually from a Game Boy Advance game. They they use that for GameCube. Hey hey hey! How am I supposed to make a grand entrance if you finish off the enemy before I can join, bro? You had several days to show up. Don't complain to me. Mako, you're here too? Yeah, and I can't seem to get out. I heard you were fighting, so I thought I'd lend you a hand. You don't seem to need my help, but I'm gonna join your party anyway. Great, we can sure use your help. You're getting quite famous in this world, Yugi. I'm sure that Joey and the others have already heard the rumors and are on their way here now. Nice. Um, I got three different heal items. Okay. Maybe use those, I guess. Not what I really wanted. Okay, Badlands is next. Having defeated Sekmaten, Yugi has secured a solid foothold on the mainland and is liberating surrounded areas. The Imperial forces on the mainland are tough, and the Resistance can't seem to make much headway. Seeking to limit damage to his forces, Yugi de decides to make a break for the Beastie Badlands in Central Rondevel. and devises a plan that will allow him to attack the enemy from behind. However, the Beastie Badlands are a desolate area devoid of human life controlled by fiendish beasts. I wonder why it's called that. This is the Taya mission, right? Okay, what does Mako have? Three, two, one. He has one of the Magnet Warriors and Aquamador and Beast King. That is... pretty meh, not gonna lie, man. This isn't the Teo one, okay. Um, the thing- the, the randomizer has an option specifically for the Teo mission to make Teo start with healing items, because it's possible the randomizer will just leave her impossible- uh, with impossible, uh, victory conditions. Okay. Well, this is the Summon Skull mission. Oh, that could be a, a lot of things, yeah. Is Mako even worth bringing? I feel like he's not even worth bringing right now. I don't have enough monsters to kind of organize to how I want. Hang on. Let me check the, the battle guards here. Okay, this one... Uh, yellowish green. Yugi's is like, uh... Very peach looking. This just kinda has that a little bit close, but what about lava here? Oh, this one actually matches Yugi pretty perfectly, probably because we had it from the start. Um, I think I could put both battle guards on Yugi. That would probably be a good idea. And I'm probably gonna need him set up to curb stomp here, so let's be careful. Okay, dragon treasure on you. Take this off you. Right, we got you last time. You're at level one. Oh. I thought you were going to be higher than that. Hitotsumi Giant, everybody. Whoopee. There's the battle guard. He's level 11, got a sword. Okay. 1800, 2500. Okay, so I bought a bunch of these. Put one on. 
Puts him up like that. I feel like we should spread these out a little bit. Yeah, it costs money to bring stuff out. Great mechanic, I know. What does the this stuff do? Uh, it fully restores the life points of all team monsters. Okay. Eliminate the effects of any status changes. Eh, that's not really relevant throughout a first-time Yugi run, I feel. I don't need to carry that around too much. Now, hang on. As we spread things around, we should put uh, the elf in the middle. Hmm. Hmm. Cure Master can also revive dead teammates. Okay, good. Now then. Hang on. I kind of want to tr get this swordsman to be freaking good if I can, so... Maybe give him one more of these. So he can do some damage right now, but he's still not very good. I don't have any other beast monsters, do I? Except this thing now, but he's very meh. We got Beta the Magnet Warrior, everybody. Crawling Dragon has that. Shock Shell on you is that good. Definitely need you. Don't have the most optimal of monsters half the time still, yeah. Um, hang on a second. Here's what we're gonna do. You're kind of an ass monster, so we're gonna take these off. Yeah, at level 10 you have that, which means... Hang on. You have more of a red icon, so who... Maybe Fizdis would work better for that? Because Yugi can't take it. Man, this thing's pretty damn weak now, too, isn't it? It's got defense, but... Ugh. Remove this. Put you on. Yeah, that's looking better. Even though you're level 1, you'll get immediate surge of uh, stuff here. Problem is, this team is kind of a glass cannon, isn't it? And this feels so pitiful to be using. Do I have any other beasts? Because, hang on, I don't think I need to use the Larva Moth anymore. I could just use the Swamp King, right? Hang on. So I'll take these off, and yeah, we don't need to use any you anymore. You're a warrior? Of course you are. You're a spirit. Fiend. And this counts as a beast with a little bit better, but hang on. What's the other one we want? I should take Beast King of the Swamps. Your spirit, machine, beast. Yeah, I could actually make use of this thing so for some reason. So hang on. We'll take off you. We'll put on this. And we'll put on all three of these. And now you've got 2,600. And now this team is somewhat passable. They just need a little bit of levels on them. And... Hang on, yeah, we should probably put Elf in the middle. Give her a bow. She has 600. Now she has 1,100. Uh, do I want to keep her as the healer? She has, like, no freaking health, though. She does really need the attack gain, though, for sure. But the main reason we have her is because we, we need the, the blinding effect, for sure. Hmm. Um, do I have anything to really give Bakora? I feel like we can leave him behind. I, like, it might be best right now, with my current loadout of monsters, to just use four teams, because... I, I don't have enough to go around. These guys would just cost money to bring in and have piss-poor teams. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, the better play is to just focus on a smaller group with the monsters that I know can work. What about you, though? You, you really need stuff for place, to be honest. You're, like, your stuff kind of sucks. This can be a warrior, but do I have better warriors now? You're a spirit. No, you're a spellcaster, sorry. Um, Robotic knight. Beta is an upgrade over this, right? Hang on, let me go and take this off. Hmm. 
Hmm. Go up here. Yeah, at level 9, it's got that much. And at level 13, you've got that much, but less defense and no action points on you, though. Maybe I should keep the robot right now. I don't know. This thing's kind of bad. I don't have equipment on these, sadly. As a warrior, this thing's not really worth using right now, I'd say. I mean, eh. Level 14, this is pretty bad. Two action points on it still, too. Hang on. Orbs are decently close here. Hmm. Maybe I could swap the dragon here with... Hang on. This thing's orb would get closer to Tristan's color with a little bit of uh, time there, so maybe do that. Do this. Go ahead and give her a silver bow and arrow, too. I'm spreading these around right now until we can get some more of them. Hmm. So, going back to Yugi's team... if I should just give you another one because you got less action points. You know what? I think I will. I'll do that. I have three spellcaster things. Oh my god! I could put them on Water Girl. I should have did that earlier. Damn it. I thought she was a spirit. Ah. <laughs> it's something. Now she has almost three. I, I'm a little mad. I didn't realize I could do that. Oh well. Okay. Does Robo Knight have a special yet? Not yet, no. I don't have anything else to really give him. I suppose since we're still we still kinda need to use horsemen, I could just put the silver bow and arrow on him. It's a little bit better. As for the rest of this team, I think I should go ahead and take the medicine off of him. And give... I think he deserves all of them, to be honest. I'm gonna take it off Horseman. I'm gonna be like that. <laughs> okay. Fizdis can be our glass cannon girl. Let's go. Silver bow and arrow. This dude has, like, the perfect orb color to match, like, um, either Mako or, or Bakora, so I could probably, like, hand it over to them soon. Business has just, like, a brown one. It's dark green. This should be okay right now. I don't know, you have more blue medicine for all I care. Shock shell. Do I have enough? I don't have any medicine on you guys, so you can take that. Oh, did I switch them? I did, of course I did. Let's go ahead and put the Cure Master on you, because why not? And I guess... Eh. I, I think this will be okay. We'll go in with four monsters, or four, sorry, four marshals, and we'll do it like this. Yeah, I know, you can use medicine out of combat, so I was putting it on. Okay, so, next mission, let me see what we can recruit. Let me check. Damn, we got a lot of people here for this. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Okay, mission six, Badlands. Summon Skull, Illusory Gentleman, slash Neck Hunter, slash Beast of Gilfer, Dark Magician, at, by beating the boss. Okay... Tower Pegasi for Summon Skull, and between Tower Pegasi and Tower Centauri is where I find a group of three monsters. So we have the opportunity to get five monsters from this mission. One of them replaces Summon Skull, which is on the map. Another one replaces Dark Magician, which we get for beating the map. And there's a random team of three monsters hanging around. So this could get tricky. Let's see if we can do it. Yugi has to be the one to go to Tower Pegasi. Okay, we'll do it. Just making sure I don't miss any random monster spawns. Ooh, nighttime music. You see that, Teddy? 
You hear it? We also have a chance to buy more equipment here, because we got a lot of money. Look at this place. Welcome to the Beastie Badlands. Not even the Empire has sought to control this area. However, if we can secure a route through here, we will it will allow us to hit the Imperial forces in their weak spot. We must be extremely careful. There are roving bandits and monsters that will attack anyone that tries to pass. Furthermore, we can't expect to find much in the way of supplies. We must not prolong our stay here. Keep an eye on the clock and be ready for every anything. Okay, so... They're already coming towards us, huh? Let's check the trader. Red medicine. Okay, we should probably buy at least one of those for now. Okay, taking a look at this, we've got... Okay, we got panic. Let me see. Harpy lady on you. Barrel dragon on you. Weak ass monsters on you. Weak ass monsters on you. And he's got uh, a couple things. Okay, researchers guild. We can't let this one fall. Let's send Yugi to Tower Pegasi, whatever the hell it is. Is this one? It is, okay. Tower Pegasi. Yugi, you go there. We'll get Fizdis to head down over here. Start taking over stuff. Maybe leave you as emergency backup this way. Hang on. Tower Deneb. Tower Centauri. Okay, so the group of three monsters is in this, like, little path right here. Where are they going? Are they heading right towards us? I think they are. Or are they spreading out? First, Yugi needs to fight the Summon Skull replacement. We need that very, very much. Okay. It's Battle Ox? Oh, give me a break. That doesn't have Summon Skull strats. stats. You must like living out on the edge to violate this hallowed ground. Let's see if you have the power to back up such foolish behavior. Attack when you're ready. Oh, wait. No, it's the fusion of Mystic Horseman and Battle Ox. Oh, jeez. That's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Why is he level 99? Right, they do that. I don't know if I can win this. But I really, really need him. The play here might need, need yeah, I might need to, um... You no, know, we, I could probably do it. I might need to you go in with uh, the elf to like blind it. We can also just hit it stupid hard and kill it before it does anything. Took half its health already. Okay. No panic, we got this. If I get a random crit, that would help immensely too. Come on, random crit, let's go. This will be like my, easily my best monster, because I could just load it up with uh, the silver bows too. Almost. Oh yeah, we got him. It's a good thing I buffed these three a lot. Okay, we got him. We got a random fusion monster we can use as a regular monster now. Holy crap! Dang, that's a lot of XP for that. This is the first time in several millennia that I have ever lost. Your power makes you worthy to command me. I hereby swear before all that is dark and bestial to serve as your faithful servant. Rabbit Horseman has joined your army. Okay, before we go to that team of three, we need Yugi topped up. Oh, they're gonna attack the hell out of him. Tristan, get your ass in there and help him. Yugi's gonna have to defend this fort from... Oh, wait, this is the weenie team. We can take him. Oh, he got blue medicine. Blue medicine. We can kill the, the moth first, I suppose. Um, it's a fusion monster. Normally, fusions can only happen temporarily in battle, but the randomizer makes the fusion monsters actual separate unlockable creatures you can use. 
So I, I can now just put a random fusion monster on my team now. I hope that works anyway. There should be a menu option for it, I think. Anyways, let's get him. Nice. I'll probably just put it on whoever it has, like, the most affinity for next mission. Try to match the orb color. Damn, time is flying by today. I love being able to frickin' trounce these suckers. He's all- chat, he's also got a nerf gun. <laughs> what a goober. Look- look at it. He's got the censored card art. Finish you off. What is Rabbit Horseman's normal card stats? Because he's replacing Summon Skull, who has 2,500. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish you off. Get him. Uh, no, let's not use that. This should kill him. The two attacks I have left anyway. Nice. I'm glad so many people seem to be enjoying this playthrough. I mean, it's a very- it can be a very slow game, and I've already played it years ago. <laughs> but it's nice. The randomizer is super fun. It's probably one of my favorite ones so far. Although it's the only Yu-Gi-Oh one I've done so far, so... There we go. Now, Tristan, get your butt over here. Fizdis is about to take over this, so we can see what items we get. Rabbit Horseman is 2,000 attack, 1,700 defense. Okay, we could still work with that. It's pretty good. Oh, nice! Um, I can buff the machine monsters with this. Combine six of them. This place is defiant, so things are expensive. I'm gonna buy... One more. I need these. I'm getting machine monsters now, so I need this. Tristan is gonna help out. Okay, is that Zoa? No, that's Barrel Dragon. All right, here it is. Barrel Dragon is also censored on his model, right? It's already goofy enough for a casual play. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, I love, I love how silly he looks with the censored, like, the censored art applied to his model. I always forget about that. <laughs> it's nerf or nothing, kids. What's funny is that Toon Barrel Dragon, by default, is colored like the American version. Oh, and of course he's the one I missed. You're the one with the medicine, so we better take you out. It's, he's supposed to be like three revolvers, but they edited him <laughs> to look like toy guns. Ooh, you missed. Bad breath. Let's do it. I know that sometimes uh, Jap the Japanese card art actually pokes fun at some of the American censors. For sure. Let's see. Toon Barrel Dragon is, is one of the ones I know for sure. Excellent. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just take out the, the tiny one. Get him with that. No need to waste... Doing more here. He's only got one attack left anyway. The barrel dragon, I mean. He sprayed piss powder on me. You can't do that. Oh, here comes. Remember, chat, it's only foam darts. We're, it's perfectly safe. Absolutely nothing unsafe about that. American ba barrel dragon is Gundramon at home. Kinda. Yeah, we should be able to take him out. Oh, 
let's go. I don't think I heard of that one. The stuffed animals that had their their stuffings changed. I'm not familiar with those ones. Toon Barrel Dragon actually still had its artwork edited in the American version anyway. Oh, is it? I was unaware of that. Okay, nice. Chat, wait, when it's in negative colors, that those don't look like funny guns anymore. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna call Konami and file a complaint. Okay. Tristan can still hold the fort. Fizdis, you get your ass in there and help, girl. Fizdis is considered bad, right? But I, I want to use her anyway. She's, she's such a good helper for haggling with the merchants. Okay, let's finish this off. I'm surprised Digimon cards would still censor anything when... Uh, Digimon has moved on to an adult audience. You literally play Cyber Sleuth and people are calling each other bastards. So I'm surprised they'd still p pretend that kids are gonna play that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Seems she's only used for shop stuff. There we go. I mean, isn't the most important reason to use a character in an RPG but based on how cute they are? Come on, that's why you're also all here, right? <laughs> Getting. Anyways. The money she costs to bring into battle, she can save at the merchant. You're taking forever to move, and you're pretty low level. Medicine on you, though. Let's let Fizdis fight this one. Let's see. Tower Deneb. We need Yugi healed up so we can fight the group of three monsters that are in the middle of the road there. You're here for the bear? Oh, are you? Oh, look at that! It's gone now! <laughs> okay, the one with the low action points is the one with the medicine. Candy needs a break. Um... Damn it, the moment the most HP's got the medicine. I say we take out the Poison Claw dude, though, anyway. Nice damage there, buddy. Sick. Cuteness and fun are the only essential criteria. It's like when you play a fighting game. If I play an anime fighter, and I don't care what the tier says, I'm picking whatever character looks that looks that has like the most funny or cute design. And I am not ashamed to admit that, chat. Attack. Yay. Dino Impact. Ow. Beast King is okay. This is a monster that's very much going to get replaced, but I have Beast Fangs, and he's my only other beast that's usable. And I got two black pendants, so that's why I put those on Burfamit. And this? Hmm. Ah, there it is. I don't care who the top tiers are. I'm not going to Evo. Excellent. Good damage on that, man. I mean, it's also because I gave him literally three warrior buff items. Yo, know, chat, when I eventually play Duelist of the Roses, is that game nearly as complicated and weird as this one? Because this game has a lot of stuff that looks simple once you know it, but there's a lot of stuff you just, like, would miss if you have no idea about chat telling you. I suppose Forbidden Memories is kind of going to be like that, too, but... Hey, that'll take me longer to play. That just means more content. Oh, nice. First level on that guy. Not really? Okay. His disc can stay in here. The traitor is Power of Nature. Attack. Oh, it's a consumable, right? We don't want to do that. Yugi is... Still needs to get healed up. Cost 700 to set up a healer here. Okay, we'll go with this. We 
you definitely want to take out... There's going to be a lot of respawns here. Hmm. There's a lot of weird secrets in Duelist of Roses you'd never discover on your own, but they aren't vital. Okay, well, I can ask chat along the way. Little levels right there, it's okay. I'm going to buy the healer. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yes, it does. Buy it. We need to increase our passive healing. Hang on. Choose a team. Why isn't it working? Oh, I have to hit the thing, sorry. Let it go up a bit. Money's starting to get low, yeah, because I bought a bunch of machine buff items and more spirit bows. Is this about to get healed up? Um, for the group of monsters, maybe I should send Tristan in. Because I could just blind with uh, the elf and it should be okay. Hmm. Hmm. But still, Yugi can just, like, whack him pretty hard. We've already taken out almost everything. There's not a lot of teams in this place, to be honest. You know what we should do? Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna have you go over to this fort over here. Yugi just has the raw damage output to delete monsters. So we should just let him slowly heal up for a bit. Buying the healer increases passive healing exponentially, so it's good. We can just look at this menu to see how close they're getting in a weird way by looking at the cost of how much they require to heal. Okay. Now, chat, I've really just been enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh! a ton lately. I've mentioned that I've been reading the original manga, and I'm like, if like 30, 40 chapters in, I just got to the end of when Exodia gets summoned. There we go. So, I'm, I think I'm like a volume away to when they finally start focusing only just on uh, dual monsters. Excellent. Everyone else is healed up here. Check what the shop has here. It wouldn't hurt to fight a couple respawns here, to be honest. Hmm. I wanted to get back to watching the animes again. Um, I don't even know what streaming service to watch them on. I tried to look at... Like, if you try to look at, like, uh, the services that have brains, you can't watch them in Canada. It's like, why? Here we go. Zexel was only available in the dub, and I watched, like, the first 50 episodes of that, and I want to get back to it. Hang on. I like Yoma a lot more than people, like, said I would... People said I would hate him. He's nice. You're all just mean. He's just a lad. Okay, these suck. Although people are right that the first, like, 20 or so episodes are slow as hell. Okay... There's nothing worth buying there. Give Yugi just a little bit more time. Want to make sure he's topped up here. I didn't really want to watch the dub for GX and 5Ds because I know they didn't, fi they couldn't finish them. You see, I kind of want to watch the OG entirely subbed as well and Season Zero. I found a place to watch Season Zero. I should mention it, because it might get taken down. <laughs> there we go. As if, like, anyone's going to be watching this stream and being like, Oh, wait. Oh, I work. I'm a lawyer for those people. I got to take that down. Okay. Let's do that. Keep going. Almost there. Okay, every health point counts. Now Yugi is gonna head towards this way. Looks like the first respawn is coming. Bizdis can fend that off. Get the... Yeah, we can take him out. And where do you... Wait, wait, is... It's actually illusory, gentlemen? That's normal! It's just where do you think you're going? How dare you try to pass me with so, so much as a greeting? 
Such impolite behavior must not go unpunished. Attack, minions, attack. He has red eyes. He has red eyes. Chat, I need to win this. Holy crap, I need to win this. Is that red eye? Hang on. Red eyes, black dragon, illusory gentleman. Oh, and he's the one that's level 30, huh? Oh, this is perfect. Dude. <sighs> if only I had more dragon treasures. I could take one off crawling dragon and just start using red eyes, yeah. This thing is useless. It's one of, like, I could have recruited it normally last mission. He has five freaking action points. Um, it might be best to take him out to lower, keep the score as low as possible on them. Wait, does he- is this normally where you find red eyes? No way, right? Because Illusory Gentleman is like, this is what's supposed to be here. I don't recall Joey coming with red eyes. I think he comes with like Flame Swordsman as his main. Yeah, I can't expect to get red eyes in a randomizer, but hey, I'll take it. It could be in Kaiba's playthrough. Wouldn't it be so funny if Red Eyes replaced Blue Eyes in that mission? That'd be awesome. Okay, one more hit. Dark Fireball. Normal Red Eyes is much later, okay. A little bit of damage there. Okay, they just lost all their damn action points. We got this. It's in the first Joey brainwashed mission. Oh, okay. Red Eyes is cool, chat. See, it's cool because it's the opposite of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Give him a hit. Oh, we getting burned and cooked. Thank you, Sam Singh, for the nine months. So many teddies giving nice little subs today. Okay. Probably not finish him off, but we absolutely won the battle. It's great. And we'll get good XP for taking out the big boy, too. So I just got these. Nice. Plus, Rabbit Horseman was pretty sick, too. Nice. Both battle guards getting good. You're awfully strong. I think I'll give up. I hereby submit myself to your care. I pledge my loyalty to you. I'll do anything you ask of me. The illusory gentleman has joined your army. Red Eyes Black Dragon has joined your army. Octo Berser has joined your army. I, I don't need that one. Okay. Maybe get you in there for a second. You're totally healed up. Oh, wait. No, wrong one. Damn it. We're gonna let Fizdis get some levels by defending this for a little bit. And I'm gonna have Tristan wait in the back right quick. So I can just have him immediately go in if I need be. And I don't really care much about his team, because he's got a lot of throwaway monsters I don't even need anymore, right? I, I guess I should maybe have him go here? Who's there, anyway? Oh, can't check now. Thank you, Chocotina, for five months. Everyone's so nice lately. Okay, let's attack first. Kill the moth. The larva. Ooh, one hit, one kill. Let's try and heal, get him. Let's take him out before he keeps healing. So much damage, I love to see it. I want the swordsman to get a few levels, because his stack growth seems to be very, very significant. And he'll be able to get the ball rolling now that he has three buff items on him. Equipment is so busted in this game. It's really easy to play this blind and not realize how to even get equipment, though, so... 
me see. Ooh, good damage. Sledgehammer. Bam. Give him a little spit. A little bit of slime. Overwhelming. Hang on. Tristan's the one that has Constructor, right? He's the one that can build, like, uh, uh equipment for cheaper. Is discount discount's only for traders, I think. Okay, that takes care of you. Yugi heal up. Are they gonna skip going through me? This dude only has medicine on that. Panic had what? Also, they re this is from um, Duels of the Roses. That's where they get that portrait. Water Adept. Monster Reborn. Oh, d damn it. He's going to take forever. See that crap? You usually had to build the shops, too. Yeah, that is such a dumb mechanic. The randomizer makes it so that, if you want, you can make it so that every town automatically has a merchant. Because it would be such an annoying waste of time to build a random shop and find out it's not even selling anything. You know what I mean? Okay. Here comes this. It's a lot of AP for them, yeah. And they got medicine. Okay. The red medicine's more important to remove first, so we'll do that. Water Girl is the one that hits like a truck right now, so she needs to hit it. At very least, we can just soften this guy up and delete one monster. A lot, a ton of the shops are just duds, yeah. Thanks for the bits there, friend. Ooh, nice. Ah, man, not enough. Red medicine is a fair and balanced item. If you spread on all your attacks anyway, well, you're just gonna get take more damage. At least I made him use one up, but I prefer to kill him. Okay. Let's do it. A 92. Water tornado at you. <sighs> He's just barely, barely has any health left each time. It's pissing me off. And now the girl that can actually do damage is... I need to send a stronger character in for this guy. He's got enough tanky monsters to do this. Turn time in is perfect for him, I know. Ugh. Okay, he's wasting it by guarding. Hmm? Oh boy. Alright, that's it for that one. At least I win and get XP for it. And I got no level up for it. Pfft, whatever. <sighs> Alright, it's fine. You just go back and heal for a second. I'm gonna have Yugi go over here and kick your ass. Here. We'll do that. I don't think I need to build a healer here after all. I think we should be okay. Just take out the Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one, and we'll be okay. Does it actually say... <laughs> Look at the text in this at the top. Look how like compressed that has to be. Oh, that's, that's great. That's great. Some of you thought I was joking with that, didn't you? I need to see that again. Oh, cool. Turn one blue medicine. I love this mechanic. 
Look at that. Barrel Dragon, Dark Plant. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one in the most crustiest little, like, squish text. Like, they really wanted to make that fit. They know, like, no, they're not even gonna, like, shorten it like, like some games do. Is he really called all that in the Japanese, like, text of the card? Or is that just, like, an, a long name that localization just gave it or something? Is, is, uh, number two even in the game? That'd be funny if they didn't even put that one in. It's an English localization change, okay. What's he called in, in Japanese, then? All right, medicine users down, kill. Last cannon shot. This is a bad angle to watch battles in, huh? Get it? He's getting spit on. Nice. Now, please let my swordsman level up. Dang, look at that attack gain. 536 to 560. Swordsman's cooking. He really is. Number two, uh, number two is just called Wyvern or something. Is there ever been a stated reason for why some old Yu-Gi-Oh cards have localized names that are like, this card is like dude bro number one, and this one's dude bro number two, and they look nothing alike? Number one is Fortress Protecting Wing Dragon. Never understood that. I don't know. Okay, they're guarding. Let's get Mr. Red Medicine and teach him what happens when he keeps healing near me. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I want the two battle guards to get good levels anyway. Like, they're doing great. Um, Hang on a second. Dragon Seeker has... Oh, he has a... Oh, he has uh, properties to his attack, does he? He's got the medicine, too. We better take him out. Maybe they just didn't want to think of a, a name. Some of, the, some of the names for newer cards are funny. Like, uh, did you ever see that card that's called Some Summer Summoner? That's a funny play on words. I like that. Excellent. 317. One fifty-nine. Fun fact, Swamp and Lava Battle Guards do the opposite. In Japanese, they're called Barbarians number one and Barbarian number two. Oh. Dude. Why did why did they make these changes? That's so weird. Really strange. Oh well. She's guarding. Let's bite her. Excellent. Excellent. Chat, if I made, like, a new version, I, I could just recolor my VTuber, and then it becomes Picasso number two. Whoa. The battle guards just beat someone to death with a freaking log. That's right. They absolutely reuse the animation and model there. <laughs> They're recolors of each other, for sure. Okay, only a little bit there. Only a little bit. Just hoping for more. Caspery, Invader of the Throne. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do something silly like that. Oh, wait, I already did craft the healer there. What am I saying? It's been, I've been on this map so long, I forgot about that. So when I beat the boss, I recruit Dark Magician here. So it's got to be a monster of like similar strength. I didn't want to use complete random settings for monsters because it would really suck if the first boss or something just had like stupid powerful stuff and then we're just stuck here grinding until it's done. Campaign's going great, Fuzzy. Don't worry. I got both battle guards and I'm slowly training myself to be tough. Are you serious? They still didn't level. Damn.
Okay. Now we're Centuri liberated there. Let Yugi get healed up by going back to the heal place. You're at those levels. Fizdis monsters are the ones that kind of low, right? Hang on. Level 6 on Burfamet. Yugi's got really high mon level monsters. That's why they're not leveling up as fast. Is he, is he coming towards me? Oh, you're going towards that, you little jerk. All right, then. We'll just get Fizdis to go over here when Yugi gets the hell out of the way. And we're going to get ourselves into position to go swarm panic. We took over this. Did I? Hang on a second. I took this over, but I didn't tech check the shop. Fizdis can do that when she gets in. Okay. Hang on. Tristan, get your ass over here. Yugi can get your ass over here. And we're going to use one of his blue medicines to uh, top things up. Oh no, he's going to make it. Hang on. May as well do that instead of waiting around too much. No, you're going to lose it. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, and we made it. Safe. Safe, everybody. I don't know what you mean, friend. I don't think I can put a Yu-Gi-Oh card frame on top of my model. Mm. The dinosaur is the one with the medicine. I need to kill it first. That jellyfish does not move very fast. Good damage. Jellyfish is guarding. Look at those slimy textures. I could probably get a dual disc for my character. Yes, I could use that during the DS playthroughs. That would probably be another state I'll commission in the future. In the future, chat. Excellent. Now, chat, when you cut the jelly, you can make some jam. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh, right, he guarded. That's right. Hang on. There we go. If you have a slow movement leader, you're immune to cannons. That's why they're super slow. Okay. Is that why they do that? Can I make Frog the Jam? No. I can make anything except Frog the Jam. That's the rule. That's the rule. Always. I'm not speaking loud enough. I'm. My chair is slowly moving away from my desk. All right. All right. Now that we've done that, Fizdis is all topped up. We're going to go ahead and say hello to you as well, buddy. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any um, medicine on this team, but it's okay. Time limit's getting near half, but we did a good I, a good situation. Ah, bleh. We played pretty decently, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I didn't check the shop. You're right, damn it. I forgot. Hang on. I knew I was forgetting something. Hurry, 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 hurry. Sweet. Come on. They're going to respawn at this rate. Traitor. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. That's bad. Yeah, we don't need them. All right, Tristan, get in there. You can probably take him yourself. Shh, you dare violate the sacred hallow ground? Who do you think you are? I'm going to stop you in your tracks. I'm a reused asset. We gotta kill the guy with Monster Reborn first, for obvious reasons. Okay, and you got red medicine. Oh, get that. Yeah, this is a... I forgot. This guy has a pain in the ass set up here, doesn't he? Well, let's go ahead and hit them with the special first. If we hit them with confusion, they can't spam the medicine at least, so we should use gamma for that, but then we won't be able to kill as fast. I guess we're actually going to have to spread out our attacks this time. 
Oops. I thought Gamma was attacking. My bad. Okay, great. He's guarding. You just got squitted on. Get shocked. Okay, confusion applied. But you're gonna use your blue medicine. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Gotta confuse that middle one now. They're running out of- actually, they're out of action points. So we should just kill one of them. That is one thing that the randomizer is surprisingly able to balance by accident, I feel. Um... No, wait, no, we have to kill- we have to kill the one with, uh... Monster Reborn, what am I saying? Powerful- more powerful monsters end up having, like, less action points at low levels. So that means, like, if they end up and if they end up on an enemy team in the rando, they are a little bit more manageable to deal with because they can attack less. Shockingly enough. Okay, let's get rid of you. Yugi's already really high level, so I should just let Tristan and Fizdis like obliterate this guy for XP. We could definitely have time to do another mission after this. Last episode was like three and a half hours. And I only stopped because I got to the start of a long mission. And obviously I can't like split these up in the, um, like I can't, I'm not going to end the episode in the middle of a mission. Okay. I think that's another thing about this game that makes it kind of uh, inaccessible for people is that like, when you start the mission, you have to see the whole damn thing through. You, there's not really a way to like quick save or take a break. Other than just pressing pause and leaving the system on. Almost. Okay, we got this. I'll let this just go in and finish off the middle one then. Okay. Easy. Everyone gets a little bit extra. Nice. Okay. No, that's Yugi. Yeah. Definitely should let Fizdis get the kill here if we're gonna, especially if we're gonna use uh, the Swordsman. With this position, though, they shouldn't be able to leave the, um, the fort. That's good. Could respawn camp if I really want to. We're not gonna. They already respawned once. Okay, come on. Nothing else to recruit here except when we beat the boss, one random monster. That could be something good. Don't spawn in, don't spawn in. Okay, good. We did it. Tennies are about to win. Ooh, nice. He's going to kill me. Hang on. I gotta fix my headphones. They're a little bit, uh... Tangled in my hair. That's always a bit of a pain. You can see that on the PNG tuber, too. <laughs> Let it kill. Okay, nice. Victory is here. We also- we got so many monsters from this that are good now. Let's see what we get now. 300 gold for this. Oh, I'm sorry, Master Scott. Who's Scott? You! Thousand Dragon? Oh! I've never been able to play that one before because you have to get, like, Baby Dragon, like, super late game. Yugi, I've been waiting for you. Waiting? For me? 
Yes, ever since you stepped into this world, I knew it was you right away. As master of the Dark Magician, I swore eternal loyalty to you. Don't you remember? No, but... Though our forms may change, the bond which binds us endures. I am and always be will be your faithful servant. I fight for your victory and for your glory. Thousand Dragon joined your army. Damn. I got Rime and more blue medicine. Oh, we're going to be cooking with this next team. Crucial battle. Is this a long one? Yugi's daring plan turned the tide of battle. They attacked from behind and sent the enemy running. Resistance controlled areas quickly spread as Yugi and friends repeatedly defeated the dazed Imperial forces. Seeing the entire Imperial army in disarray, Yugi decides to surround the largest fortress in the Empire, Eno. The capital of Sai Varth's just beyond Eno. If Yugi takes the fortress, he'll have the Empire by the jugular. With his entire empire at stake, Emperor Heishin himself leads an army to face Yugi and protect Eno Fortress. The fate of the Empire lies in the balance as their greatest battle yet is poised to start. Oh yeah, it's extreme time. Everyone has to go for this one. Okay, so we're gonna have to think about this. Let me make a save. Everybody has to go. Everyone is here. Okay, you're level 9, you're level 9. You guys are mostly staying the same here. Uh, hang on. Thousand... That's Crawling Dragon. I didn't, I didn't put Crawling Dragon on anyone else. I feel stupid. I feel really stupid for not doing that. I totally forgot. Checking what we got here. Red Eyes is very red. Shocker. Rabbit Horseman is also very red. With five action points. Field Adept... Hypersonic Axe Blade. Okay, we can definitely work with this for sure. Uh, which character is more red? Not really anyone. I feel like I need to get Joey for that one, so... Use Bakura. Maybe give him the Illusory Gentleman. Where is he? Very yellow. Four stars. Knight of Depth. Spectral Mist. Okay, he's level... He comes at level 32. Jeez. And... Hang on, if he's a spellcaster, right? Yes, he is. That means what we gotta do is... Sorry, you're not useful anymore. No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do something fancy here, chat. We're gonna give you this. And we're gonna give you... All of these bad boys... That's a lot of damage right there. That'll be pretty fine. Now, you two kind of suck, so we're going to have to change you two. Maybe I could give him the red monsters for now, just make them go all out. Tristan's team is okay. For, for the time being, until I get better machine monsters, what I can do is, yeah, make use of these shock shells on Gamma. Yeah, that puts him over 3k. Screen Mist. There you go. Enchanted Javelin. Starlight Shot. I'll give you another Silver Bow and Arrow for the for this now. 3,000 on you. Yeah, Tristan's team is pretty cooking. Pretty stacked. Thank you, Zier, there for the six months. Okay. Mako Tsunami here. Purple's halfway to red, so I guess it'll be okay. Your ass, your ass. Hmm. Want to give him everything? The Red Eyes and Rabbit Horsemen are level one, so I want them to level up, that's for sure. Uh, hang on, you know what I need to do? I need to check Thousand Dragon. Orange. Man, this is good, too. Um... I need Crawling Dragon to take his, his, uh, thing back. Yeah, give me that. He's okay. Do that on you. Give you that. 
Hang on. You have the most action points, so I should also give you this. Give you the blue medicine there. Hmm. Everyone needs to go. Your team is still okay. I didn't get any extra items for you guys. You're kind of just, like, bleh. Mmm. I guess we could level up Mako, though. Hmm. That's there. We basically have Thousand Dragon yet. Can we even, like... Can fusions even properly show up on the overworld map? I feel like that might glitch the game. I don't know. I'm a little worried about that, to be honest. Hmm. A lot of damage on you. Kind of have to give him the leftovers right now, because we don't have much else. It's fine, they just don't have a movement animation. Okay. I'm not worried about it. So I'll just do it like that for now. What else do I have that I can make use of? I could just use a machine monster, because I have a bunch of shock shells, so I can use Rocket Warrior for now. It's not amazing, but he can do damage with this for the time being. Yeah, that'll help. Okay. This, this is looking pretty good. I can go with this. Now, before anything else, let me take a quick look here. Let me see. Gemini Elf. Let me see. Oh, this is one of the... This is one of the monster recruits that you can't do. Um, hang on a second. For this to activate, you can't... It's one of the Gemini Elves, but you have to have one of the the other Elf as um the le the team leader. Hang on a second. Do do I have that one? Which which one do I have? Did I have one? I don't remember if I did. No, that was the enemy that had that, right? So I literally can't recruit this monster check. This is one of those ridiculous monster checks that you can't get in the um. You can't really reliably get in the main game without playing the game over. Isn't that great? I've just fought her several times. Yeah. Oh, well. Who has better base stats? Rocket Warrior or Beta? Let's see. Beta actually does, so I should use him instead. Less action points, though. Rocket Warrior has less HP. Eh. But you're level 9, and Rocket Warrior is also level 9. I'd say get an extra action point easily. Yeah, I'll put him on instead. Okay. Guess I'll put that on you if I can. Alright, this is okay. We'll go with this for now. Hang on a second, I should probably put the horseman in the- Wait, no, he's a fusion. He can also potentially break the game. I gotta be careful about that. I know he won't have proper movements, but uh, I'm just worried it might cause a crash anyway, because this is still, like, in testing. Yugi's team has been pretty good. I'll, I'll keep with that one. Do that. Yeah, this is that's what I'm concerned about. So for those that don't know what I'm talking about, so on this map, if you go to a certain town with one of the Gemini Elves as the leader, the other Gemini Elf joins you. The problem with that is that the way to get the first one is I'm pretty sure you have to beat Joey's campaign, which means you have to beat the game. So the only possible way to recruit this monster is is on New Game Plus. So I don't know if the randomizer makes it so that the monster will be given to me for free, 
or the monster checks for whatever replaces Gemini Elf, or if I have to have that half happen to have that Gemini Elf on my party anyway. I don't know. Fourth run only, I know. Isn't that a great design choice? Hang on, let me save again. All right, we're going to go into this. I'll check that area. I'll try going to it. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate the sub. I'll try going to the area and see if anything happens. I don't know if the randomizer changes it. Hmm. Let's, yeah, let's go into it. I'm not sure. There wasn't anything about the... About this this happening, but we'll go. This is our most important battle yet, isn't it? Yes, if we win here, total victory is a given. But we must be careful. He may be old, but Heishin is still feared as a very powerful mar marshal. Not so tough. We can't take him if we work together. Right. We must win here so that we can finish this once and for all. Right. Hey, Fizdus is here. The girl thinks she's on the team. All right, everyone, let's do this. Okay. They're immediately coming for us. Let's go ahead and do the traitor. Beast Fangs again. Okay, hang on. I'll buy another one of those. Another one of those. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What do we got in here? Oh, they immediately have cannons. That's cool. So that means non-flying monsters need to ascend in there. Which means Yugi could do it. You could do it, but we're not really using you. Damn it. You can, you can just go in and fight right away. Why not? Hunter Spider. I hate looking at that thing. This map's going to take a while. This is probably going to be the last part of the stream. Oh, I'm going to be starving by the end of this, aren't I? I love that ninja costume, because he just looks like some guy in a dollar store, like, robe or whatever. Hey. Good. Let's take out the ninja, because he's got the most points. We're going to need to secure a position and buy a healer there. I don't know about using the starting spot. It's a lot of damage they're doing. Guy's just freaking dead. Okay, good. He's gone. I think the respawns are fast here, too. Who knows? Definitely gonna wrap up the stream after t after uh, this one, yeah. But we can do it. This is. I'm gonna have so much to upload this week because I ended up streaming a lot this weekend. Okay. Perfect. I'm hoping I can get quite a bit done this week, chat, because I'm actually planning to try and finish editing something tomorrow. Scissor boomerangs. Okay. Perfect. I would love it if the weather could warm up, though. All of a sudden, it's been, like, really cloudy, and, like, we've even had snow again. Look at that. Look at this thing, by the way. Like, oh, Like, isn't it just freaky? I probably should stop doing that. It's pro I'm probably genuinely freaking people out if they have, like, arachnophobia. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll just, like, stop doing that. The spider has bird legs. Oh, it does. It's got talons. I'm like, look how freaky this is. And then I'm like, wait a minute. That, that's like a big, big phobia for people. I should stop that. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's like April, right? And it snowed the other day, and it was like a little mini snowstorm almost. Okay, let's let you go there. You fly. Oh, they're coming to us now. Well, then. Fine, then. He wants a rematch. Yeah, and... I haven't been able to go to the walking trails again. I got to go once, and then it just got freezing cold. Man. It's supposed to be spring, chat. I want to be healthy. I want to walk. And I get, I'm get i so sick of, like, just walking around my general block of all, all the time. Excellent. 
Yugi didn't get a whole lot because Yugi's high level. Yeah, this is a fun game. The randomizer... The randomizer makes the game slower, but it also, like, actually, like, makes you want to do a strategy. That's good. We can't approach here because he has air cannons. So we gotta be careful what monsters we have. It's a good thing I had a good variety set up. Oh, alright, we're just gonna zoom in on Thousand Dragon's butt. I can't move the camera until it's my turn. Sorry, could you... That, could, could you move, sir? We're, we're trying to watch this. No? Okay. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, he, he is massive. Look at that. You're already almost dead. Oh, and they all have medicine! Oh, they all have medicine, chat. Wow, they can all be so healthy. I'm, I'm happy for them, you jerks. They're gonna kill all my monsters immediately, aren't they? That sucks. It zippy zapped. Confused him. That did nothing! How much defense did that one have? A lot is the answer. They all have a lot. What is their problem? Holy crap. Uh-oh. Janna might be in trouble here. Yeah, these guys have giant numbers. They're, they're buffed by the barricade, yeah. I might have to send in Yugi to free this damn castle. Even if you've played this game a ton, I guarantee this is a lot of people's first time seeing this Thousand Dragon model. Because you'd never see it, playing casually. Oh! Let me play you the song of my people. Be healed, son. Be healed. Stop attacking. Well, you don't have much to do here, do you? Mm. Electromagnetic punch! Yeah, take damage. Oh, he was guarding last time. That's what happened. Almost. I'm making sure one of them dies. This team respawning over and over is like my worst freaking nightmare. All of them are actually really stacked. Don't attack the Magnet Warrior. Please don't. Please don't attack the... Please, no. Oh, he's dead. That's so lame. He, we just started. Gonna have to pay that healer to fill him up. Yay. Yeah. Do what we can. Thousand Dragon doesn't have like a special that requires a certain level, does it? Okay, they lose. No level. Except on Thousand, of course. Okay, we should just go ahead and set things up. Healer is 750 here, because cooperation's okay. Uh, setting one up in the middle would be too much of a pain in the ass, so let's do it. Oh my god, why is it gonna cost so much? It's not really gonna be worth it. I mean, I didn't want to keep Beta the Magnet Warrior le late anyway. I just wanted to use Thousand Dragon, so it's fine. Maybe just have him go in to finish things off. Here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna send you down here. It's barricaded, so we could defend it there for a little bit, but we can't, we can't let them take this location Otherwise, we lose, so someone has to always be here anyway. Let Yugi slowly heal. Illusory Gentleman floats? I don't know if that counts or not. That's a problem. No! no that, that's not the character I picked! What? No! Are you serious? Close the menu! 
Oh, give me a goddamn break. Oh, I'm pissed off. I did not. Mm. Okay. That is not who I wanted to freaking pick. Hang on. Oh, this menu, I swear, man. How do I check move type? Uh, is it the W at the top? Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, you're right. I should use the pissy face for this. Oh, we're, we're, we're having a great time now. That's cool. That's move type. Okay. I didn't realize that's what it was for. I'm happy. I'm very happy right now. Yeah, what do they have? You got red medicine. You're getting your ass confused and killed. I meant to send out, like, Yugi there to, to, like, adjust him, and I accidentally sent out a character who was flying and immediately proc the cannons. I'm so mad about that. Let's do it. I'm grumpy and upset. Okay, they're missing everything. That's good. At least this team is pretty pretty easy to deal with. Okay, I'm surviving, but I'm a little annoyed because I made a big mistake a second ago. Okay. Let's hopefully not die here. Oh, nice crit. You know what? Just heal her. I'm worried she's gonna die from a random hit. I'm gonna be happy again, chat. I'm gonna be positive. I totally just didn't want an excuse to use the pouty face. Oh, it wore off. Yeah, I took the damage. Hmm. Guard. Good, you missed. Hmm. Heal Gamma a little bit. The cannon needs to recharge now, so I could actually just send someone into. Since I accidentally made them waste the cannon anyway, I may as well go in and attack with it, you know what I mean? Obviously, Tristan's team needs some healing. Okay. Let's see if we can kill this one. Get shocked. Get rocked. Ooh, nice. That's a lot. Of course it's a lot, because I, um... I put so many shock shells on them. That didn't do anything for beta, though. That thing just died. Oh, six. Right at guards. Well, do this. Someone can easily get in there and snag the kill. I might let Mako do that, to be honest. Okay, but we have to adjust things now because he's going to be invading again in a second. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, he's stuck there. No, close it. Go, 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 go. No! <laughs> Why? Yay, game design. I'm pissy again. We should be able to deal with him. I could just blind him and they could finish him off, I hope. Did I miss? Oh, good, it worked. Okay. I'm having fun. I'm having a fun time. Look at that blue worm. It looks like a pool pump. Like, tube or something. Finish him off. Yay, we win. Well, Tristan gets free XP, I suppose. We take those, we take those. Accidental mistakes. That's why, that's a little redundant to say it like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Cannons are not recharged yet. The general's the one who came out to fight. You've got almost dead people. Uh... 
I'm gonna let Bakora get in there and attack you. He should be okay. Okay, Bakora is walking. So, a gentleman is is floating, but I'm... You never know if, like, a floater could count as flying with how this crusty this game is, so... Okay. So, let's get rid of... Ah, oh, damn, that's the one with red medicine. I'm gonna see if I can kill the middle one before she gets a chance to act. So, if you're joining me now, um, I... Oh, wow, nice. Rap Rabbit Horseman is a fusion monster, but I got him as a... You can usually only use fusion monsters through Polly temporarily, but I got him as a static monster, and he's here forever now, which is great. Yeah, I know, I'm checking the letter now. I didn't know what the letter was for until earlier. Oh, nice. Get zoomed on. Unfortunately, there's no real way for me to recruit the monster on this map because it's New Game Plus Plus, basically. Oh, nice! Bakora got the perfect level up right now. More life points and action points to the team. 400 gold, boss 10, trader has Electro Whip. Oh, this is only for Harpy Lady. I don't have any Harpy Lady, so... Okay. Business is down there. This one has Ground Cannon, so Flying Monsters need to attack that one. Okay, Fizdis could do that, but what does this guy have? He's got... Oh, actually... Oh, no, wrong one, please. Oh, no. How did I... Dude, I messed up this... I messed it up. Hang on. This guy, I want to check his team. Okay, they got red medicine. What? Oh, it's Joey! I forgot this is the mission he shows up on. Sorry I'm late. Everything's gonna be okay now that I'm here. Joey, what took you so long? What's with the grandstanding, Joey? You're late. Ah, shut up. I didn't exactly have an easy time getting here. You got Blackland Fire Dragon? Yugi, Maya's headed this way too. She should be here any minute. Great, we definitely got the upper hand now. What does he have? He's got this thing, Blackland Fire Dragon, and Two-Headed King Rex. No equips right now, and they all have low action points. They're not bad monsters, but I don't know if I can use them right this second. Joey himself has... Let me see here. Yeah, the Red Affinity, so we'll give him Red Eyes after this mission is over, and Thousand... Uh, thousand. So we're gonna wait for Mai as well. Okay. I'd say Fizdis has a chance at coming in here. Okay. Let them heal faster this way. Hmm. Let them heal up. Kristen's the big team right now. Red Medicine on the Rocket Warrior. That's the big one. Low HP. Let's get him. Vertical hit, please. I deserve it. I've been good this year. Santa says so. Chat, I've been good. You're all my witnesses. Some of you have watched thousands of hours of me. I know you can attest to this. Please, please, please don't let him get to move. Please don't let him move. Nice. Sure, I'm good. See? I'm a little angel. Blue Medicine is on the ant. This team's actually pretty weak looking, so we should be okay. That dude who has the three monsters near all nearly at 3k is... Oh, damn. That, that was a crit. That hurt. I took away the teddy. What's wrong with taking away the teddy? Teddy needs a break sometimes. See, I can bring bears back. Look at that. Teddy just having a little hoot.
I don't have any heal items on this team, so... Teddy was just taking a nap. He went to go find more snacks. I think we can finish this. Nice. And he's back to enjoy the rest of the cozy stream. Stretch, don't mind if I do. Ooh. Now that's the stuff we want to see. Holy moly, that was a great battle. Slaughter all three opponents and just get a huge boost. What can you buy, girl? Legendary Sword. We need more of these for sure. Especially at this price. That's all I should get right now. We gotta focus on liberating the other things. This one has... Hang on. Oh, that's Heishin. We need to get him last. We need to wait for Mai to show up as well. This one has nothing. It's kind of like... Kind of easily go for that, yeah. Let Bakora and Joey head towards it. Hang on. You're okay there. Excellent. Yugi's mostly healed up, so is Tristan. Let's get you over here. I have to also say, chat, like, oh, hang on, they already respawned. Here they come. Okay, if they're gonna come here, uh, the cannons are for the air ones. Could let Yugi just defend that, or I could let Mako just slaughter them to train up the dragons a little bit. Do that. Yeah, reading the manga for, like, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! lately has made me, like, appreciate how good of a friend Joey really is. Joey is such, like, He's such a goofy goober in, like, uh, a lot of, like, the Duel Monsters anime, but in the actual, like, Season Zero or, like, original manga, he is, like, the best goddamn friend ever. And actual has actual character development half the time. No, it's, I shouldn't say that. He has actual development in the anime and all that, but... There's a point where some punk steals the puzzle from Yugi, and this is before any Joey knows it's, like, uh, magical or crap like that. And, like, the dude's... The, the, the dude's threatening to basically, like, kill him and stab him with a knife, and Joey's just like, I don't give a crap, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. He just beats the crap out of people, it's great. Again, let's do it. Getting hit. Okay, we're gonna kill this thing now. Perfect. Hunter Claw. We need to change the angle here. Holy crap. I got no heals, but that one gets more defense. Let's finish him off. Oh boy. Oh, we're getting grabbed there. Yes. We're hit. We just took a breath mint and we're just spraying him with that. It's not fire or anything like that. Thousand Dragon is too large. He blocks everything. I can't get a good camera angle. Unless he's like in the middle or something. Dark Magician's replacement was, um... Uh... Thousand Dragon, yeah. Brushing your teeth and drinking ice water. Yeah, I know I can zoom in and out. It's just kinda... Uh... You sure about that? The C-Stick doesn't do that. Oops, I pressed guard. The C-Stick uh, zooming out is probably for something else. Mako got a level up there that's looked pretty good. Nice. It's 
T-Stick does that out here. Mako is good for this. Okay, you get in there. You get in there. Eh, uh, you don't have any heals, so we shouldn't do that yet. He's got Sword Stalker. Was there a different button for zooming in and out in the middle of battle? Hang on. It's definitely not the C-Stick. The C-Stick just hides their, uh, their HP bars, which is like, why would I ever do that? Maybe it's L or something. Hang on. Dark Slash of Resentment. Man, I didn't get a chance to attack. Uh. Oh, the regular control stick. Yeah, I guess that isn't really used. Okay, we got no items. Joey's team here is kind of a throwaway because I can't set it up with equipment at all. As long as they don't have items, I guess I can just kind of like crash myself into one of them. Hey, he's got the same monster as me. He's copying me, chat. We'll go ahead and just hit him here. We'll go ahead and just hit him here. Hmm. No, 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 chat. Joey is such a... He, Joey's a great guy. You know what's, you know what's also really sweet? When Yugi first completes the, um... The Millennium Puzzle... He wish he makes a wish, right? And it turns out his wish was for a friend. And that's and that's what Joey is now. Cuz Yugi just stuck like stuck up for Joey even after Joey was bullying him and that was just very wholesome. I like that part a lot. Although it's weird as hell though cuz Joey doesn't look like himself in the first few chapters cuz Kazuki Takahashi just drew him as like this really weird design until he like figured out what he was supposed to look like. Excellent. Now see what happened is Joey was bullying Yugi and he took the, one of the pieces from the Millennium Puzzle and he chucked it into like a pond and later after like Yugi sticks up against some bully who was beating him up Joey dives into the pond to get the puzzle back and he shows up at Grandpa's place soaking wet to deliver it to him and I'm like dang that's awesome. That was so nice. And then they become besties after the first chapter. Okay, well, we're not doing a whole lot of damage with this team, that's for sure. And then that bully became a motorcycle riding security guard in, in 5Ds for some reason. Yay. I don't know why he kind of just became that, yeah. Oh, that guy's back already. Is the only one left? <laughs> I kind of forgot this guy was even alive right now. Wow. Six, six, six. Now that's good numbers right there. I wanted Thousand Dragon to get levels anyway. That's good for us. Okay, hang on. Yeah, you're looking good enough there. But we should get Yugi to go down here. We're also waiting for Mai. There's no... There's no cannons on that one over there, so that's fine. Hang on. Hmm... Yeah, let's get Sword Stalker out of the way. Which one guarded, damn it? Oh, whatever, just attack him. Eh. The 
This is chapter six, yeah. Trying to, oh, come on, it missed. I'm trying to think if it's worth it to go for the last castle, but I do want to get the extra money because I had to buy a bunch of stuff. Rabbit Horseman can just slash everything. No, so, no, I think you're in the wrong chapter there. Summon Skull was the one we got in the Badlands, right? I'm trying to do I'm trying to get everything so I can check the shops. I could have a really good item. I've already managed to buy some more legendary swords from this place finally, so I can buff more warrior types. Uh, there's, there's, at least, there's at least that. Okay, miss. Hang on a second. There's no chapter numbers here. No, this is chapter 7. Chapter 6 is the previous one. Okay. Multiple levels for Rabbit Horseman and Red Eyes. We'll take that. 400 on that. Business, I need you to get your butt into this castle right now. Raider has another- more shock shells. I don't need more of those, I don't think. Probably- they're kind of cheap here, actually, so... Nah, I shouldn't. I'm- I'm really low on money now. And the last guy over here's got... Really, that? Blue medicine. Laser cannon armor, bro! <laughs> wrong- wrong bug. Well, then. This makes things a lot easier. Let's go get them. Hang on. Team command. Let's send you in here too, Bakora. Go ahead and use the blue medicine on him to make it easier. Oh, here they come again. Dungeon worms that way. We're going to send Tristan here to defend this. Tristan's been uh, pretty good. They're going to respawn in another minute, but we should be able to take this out. We're going to check out the rest. Don't worry. We're trying to take out the enemies while we can. That's a lot of damage. Thank you for that, buddy. Okay. We need to take out Gamma because Gamma's the healer here. Everyone can be a healer. They just gotta carry around seven bottles of blue medicine. What do you think would happen if a human drank the blue medicine? Because if a single monster has the strength of a thousand men in this world, right? Like, if a human were to drink such a thing that could heal a monster that powerful, it'd probably just, like, kill you. It has to. Yeah, okay. At least it's a good thing my current team has tons of HP because they are just smacking me right now. Oh, he lived? He lived right now. Whatever, get rid of him. Teddy, can you believe this crap, Teddy? Teddy can't believe this crap. Two nineteen. I'm getting rid of the moth. Getting rid of the moth. I'll go back to being happy. Okay. Hmm. Red medicine would probably just make you explode. I don't know. I just imagine the red medicine would be, like, a really terrible-tasting cherry, like, soda, and it would just make you, like, overheal to the point that you die. That's how that works, right? Yep, we passed the seven-hour mark. Don't worry. I'm probably gonna stop after this mission, because I've been going pretty late, and I didn't even get a chance to upload, uh, the previous stream, so... I'm gonna do more of this on Wednesday. Let's see. 
Don't worry. I won't do too. I w won't be too bad. Yugi, get in there and finish this off. Hang on. Oh crap! The other guys are back now. Okay, no problem. We're gonna get set up and we're gonna get them. Take that. Kristen can just pop off these guys for a little bit of extra XP. Don't forget to water the streamer. All right, I'll have a drink. Don't worry. Special. Okay, you got the red medicine, which means you gotta die, Rocket Boy. Excellent, one hit. Um, get rid of Dungeon Worm first. This is going a lot better once I, I got my monsters sorted. I think we'll be okay in this rando after all. Ah, just barely missed the kill. Come Swamp Mist. Killing already, holy crap. That took too long to get me another attack. There's only two of them. And you will die, Mr. Swamp King. Who decides that he's the king of anything, really? Apparently the title of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right, we'll take that. Dancing Elf is doing okay. And the other guy is coming. Is he the one with the... Oh, no. He's the one with all the big stuff and all the medicine. Is this? Hurry up. Oh! She joins automatically. We don't have to new game plus plus plus. You are the resistance, right? But wait, it's actually her. Is she gonna join, or...? I'm looking for my older sister. Do you know her? No, I guess you wouldn't, would you? Her name is, uh... Kachua? I don't know why I thought you would know. Silly Laura, silly. I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh, pfft. It's just... It's, she didn't join me. It's just a hint to tell how to get her. <sighs> All right. Never mind. No free monster for me. It was her portrait, though, right? Is it because uh, that's the hint text and not the join text that it wouldn't randomize the monster? That's all I can assume. I think Mai's supposed to show up this mission t still, too? Either way, we can just go fight Heishin shortly. Okay, check you. Enchanted Javelin, Dragon Treasure. Oh no, I need, I need these. Fizz just gotta get her butt up there, but it's not worth it. Mage power. He does, but you can finish this before even Joey shows up, yeah. Let's do this. No, I don't have Laura. I've just, like, fought her a bunch of times. Yay. With the lowest HP. Let's try and kill one of them before they try and heal. Nice. Damn. Be getting healed. Okay, good. That was faster than I thought. Oh, nice! I got a crit on that. Hang on a second, do you count as... No, I just have a lot higher attack power now.
Tristan is working overtime. Good. Okay, good. Tristan got a good level up there. He got what he got what he need. Okay. Um, I really need the dragon items. I should get Fizdis up here as soon as possible, so I can get them at a reduced rate and save the gold. Let Yugi heal up a little bit in here as well, and then we can just like siege on him. No, he's got ground cannons. Oh no, I think I might have to sacrifice someone to like wreck them. I could just throw Mako to the wolves there, or or him. Yeah, I could do that actually. Hang on. What if I just do that? Yeah. <laughs> he's not good for anything else right now. Come on. You sacrifice the one cannon use. Oh, here they go. Am I coming? Uh, everyone can relax now. I have arrived. You're late. What took you so long? I'll be quiet. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to rush a lady? Jeez. You and Mai made similar entrances. So what? What's that smirk supposed to mean, Tristan? Now we're really ready for anything. Let's go, everyone. Meh. What does she got? She got Labyrinth Tank! Let's go! Look <laughs> what we got it! And Garuzus and Hercules Beetle. Labyrinth Tank's the only one we care about right now. Okay. Is Fizdis in here? Good. Okay. Dragon treasure. I should just buy the two. Alright. Now I need you to sacrifice yourself to the cannon, and then we're gonna deal with Heishin. We're getting catapulted by turtles. Great animation there. Okay. Now that that's happened, Yugi, get your button there. Cora, get your button there. Ooh, sorry, buddy. He got deleted. <laughs> they didn't have enough health to take that. Wow. Pathetic. How dare you defy me, you good for nothing rebels? Today, I am judge, jury, and executioner. He got Soggy the Dark Clown? <laughs> no wonder he's the Emperor. Boss music chat. Oh yeah, get your game face on, Teddy. Oh, that's a lot of damage on you, actually. Maybe stop attacking Swamp. Maybe stop attacking him. How about that? Okay. Hmm. Blue medicine on your next turn there. They have no heals either. Wow. We can just obliterate Saki. Okay. Blue medicine. Heal you up. This boss is actually free. I c hang on, I still have the pissy face on. Oops. I could have just, like, made a YOLO attempt for him, but it's better to search all the shops anyway for extra equipment and get the XP from the battles, too. And who's got the last defense? You. You're the scarier one, because you have more action points. Chilling wins. Problem. Yeah, get in the club. Get in the club. She's dead.
We haven't gotten the special for these two yet. I think it's like a still a handful of levels away. Wow, we almost slaughtered him in one go. Dude, he's so pathetic. Yay, look at that. Fizdis should get in there and, sl and finish it off, yeah. There's a little bit of cutscene after this part, right? Hang on. Let's uh, make room for Fizdis to leave, please. There we go. Why wouldn't they leave him before? Finish it off. Finish him off. Ooh, so sorry. Your weak monster's dead. Wow, that was pathetic. He's probably the easiest boss out of all of them so far. Dang. Not even a level up on the swordsman? Oh, well. Eno was liberated. 900 gold received. No! Retreat! Retreat! Aisheen's getting away. Don't let him escape. Curse you. My army. My empire. You needn't worry about that, your majesty. Who's there? Who are you? It doesn't matter, your majesty. The important thing is that I am the one who will deliver you from your enemies. Another insolence. Oh, never mind. So you say you can save my empire, do you? Yes, I can. I will defeat the resistance army that is chasing you. Good. Now I can rest knowing I'll be safe. Hmm, I wouldn't be too sure of that. What? The empire and the army no longer belong to you, your majesty. What? Just what does that mean? Explain your so Ah! My body! My body! You are nothing more than my program puppet. You've served me well. But you've outlived your usefulness. Good work, your majesty. I always erase my unwanted programs so that they don't come back to cause me trouble later. Bye-bye now. Yeah! He got, like, deleted in a non-animated cutscene. Oh no! We're being attacked from behind by an unknown enemy. What? How is this possible? Our intelligence didn't report any forces behind us. Ha 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 ha. Sorry to surprise you all. It's Scott the game dev. I've taken the liberty of destroying your rear units. How utterly simplistic of you to leave your backside so completely unprotected like that. Who the heck are you? Not that it matters much to you, but my name is Scott Irvine. All you need to know is that I'm the one holding your life in my hands. You see, I'm the one who created this world. How's that working out for you, by the way? Anyone want to give me any feedback on the kingdom? So you're the one who trapped us all in here. That's right, but I don't expect a feeble-minded bunch like you to understand my grand plan. Okay, that's enough of the talking. Shouldn't you begin be getting ready to run away? While you stand here asking dim-witted questions, your only escape route is being cut off. Lord Yugi, we must retreat for now. We'll be massacred if we stay here. All right, everybody, fall back. Oh, wow. Yeah, Scott, the recruitment uh, system is crap. I'd like to leave a little bit of feedback on that. We have some game design complaints for sure. Refugees. Emperor Heishin has been erased, and the Empire is now in Scott's hands. Scott's army, which appeared out of nowhere, inflicted heavy damage on the Resistance, forcing them to retreat. Scott continued to give chase, inflicting still more damage on Yugi and his army as they fled. During their retreat, Yugi learns that a group of refugees is being chased by Imperial for forces and Uruvi Canyon. He also learns that Teya is one trying to protect the refugees against overwhelming odds. Yugi and friends rush to the aid of Teya, only to end up surprised by the Imperial units chasing them. So this is the one where we do the Teya mission. Okay. 
that might be difficult to come back to later. Um... But, uh, we need to wrap it up now. It's pretty late. <laughs> we can just, like, retry it over and over until, like, we level up enough. Taya should be okay. I checked the option to give her extra health items in case, like, she gets bad at, uh... In case she gets dealt a bad hand. We got some really good monsters this episode, for sure. Joey is gonna be loaded up with all the, um... The red monsters here. Like, look, these, these have a good affinity to be with him. I can just set the team up next time. Um, for the most part. You know, hang on, I can just do that right now so I don't forget. Okay. We're gonna have to put other monsters on that here. Get rid of you. Let me go ahead and take this off ya. Hang on. For the middle one, we should put on... Red Eyes is kind of slow, though, as the lead monster, so we shouldn't do that. So let's just put it here. We should also give him Thousand Dragon. Right? Hang on. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Wait, then the fusion will be in the... Damn it, hang on. This might be a little crusty. I don't really want the fusion in the center in case something bad happens, but I guess I can try it. If it crashes, I can always reset. Oh, yeah, Joey is absolutely stacked like this now. Look at him. What's Joey's ability again? He has Constructor. Okay. I guess Red Eyes can just be in the lead, but I don't want too many flying monsters. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. We can set the team up next time while we're setting up the next stream for this. Anyways, let's make a save. This has still been very fun so far. This is like my second three-ish three, three -ish hour session of this game. Oh boy, but it's been a long day. We played some Tag Force before this, and now we're wrapping up with this, Teddy. Hmm. Anyways, chat. Hope you guys had a good time. I'm going to be taking tomorrow off. This has still been a lot of fun. We did a lot of streaming this weekend. Um, I hope you guys are excited for more. But for now, I'm really hungry. I want to go get some food. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you've been enjoying this. Have a good night, and bye-bye.